Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Nettie here. I am in my girl cave today um, because I have horrible lighting in the room that I usually film in. And uh, this room gets just really early morning sunlight, so I'm now trying to get as much of that as I can. Uh, you can see this room is still a work in progress. I still haven't finished it, but um, on this side I have all of my uh, picture frames and on the other side I still have not finished that side of the wall. Um, I still am looking for stuff, to, you know, shelving and I uh, just haven't found exactly what I'm looking for. I, you know, I may end up going to the custom route for that of, of some sort. So. Anyways, today's video is, um, I'm going to start a little uh, a series. Uh, this is the first time I'm going to try this, and it will be um, probably done in three videos, I think. Um, and I'm calling it my fashion funeral. Um, and the reason why I'm calling it the fashion funeral is because we do all these unboxings and we show you guys all this stuff, but what happens to the stuff that we no longer want um, or is just not, you know, we either want to sell or consign or give away. Um, so that is what this uh, video is going to be about. I recently, you know, changed over my wardrobe from summer to winter. And as I was going through a lot of my shoes, so this series will be on shoes. The next one will be maybe like SLGs and accessories, and the next one will be um, maybe on clothes or uh, bags. Um, although there's not very many bags that I've, <laughs> I I want to dispose of or get get take out of my collection. Um, so this is shoes, and I went through my shoes, and as I I. I always put my summer shoes back in their boxes, clean them off, put them back in their boxes, and uh, store them for the winter. And then I take out all my winter stuff. So as I was putting away my summer shoes, I was like, which ones didn't I use? There's some that I maybe wore once, or you know, I really just don't wear them. I haven't worn them for two years. I've taken them out and put them back in. <laughs> it's like silliness, craziness. Um, so I said, this year um, is the year that I'm just going to get rid of what I'm not using. And I'm either going to sell it, consign it, or just you know, take it to uh, our Sally Ann, which is our Salvation Army. <laughs> um, so I decided to do that. But I just wanted to share with you guys the, the items that I am um, looking to either sell or get rid of and um, just go through the reason why. So the first pair of shoes, I, I marked them as I, as I was uh, going through all of my shoes. I'm like, okay, which ones am I going to get rid of? And so I put a, li a little sell sticker sign on them so that I would remember which ones I had decided on doing. So that was my first step in going through all my shoes. Um, so these are um, Caravella by Kurt Greiger. And I got these a couple years ago, and this is what uh, the shoe looks like. All my shoes are in pretty good condition. I usually take really good care of you know my shoes um, because they are you know they are expensive, and so you want them to last. And uh, so I got these at Nordstrom's, and these are the you know probably of all of the shoes that I'll show you one of the least expensive pair. Usually I put my um, sell items up on um, an application called Poshmark. So I'll put the link down below if you guys want to check it out, or you know if you know of anybody that wants to you know um, take a look at all of the shoes that I am selling, I will put them up there as well. And several of the other. Um, bloggers and YouTubers are using Poshmark now as well. It's just a, a great place to buy and sell things, um, you know, without um, being afraid of, you know, sending something out and not getting paid for it or something like that. Um, I did sell a pair on eBay once, but on eBay I just have not had good results for some reason. I just haven't had good experiences on there. It's always, um, you know, 
a lot of work and, and trouble, it just seems, more so than um, some of these other applications where you can sell and, and consign things. So, um, so sorry, <laughs> these are um, the shoe. And the reason why I'm selling these is I just found that I have another pair that are very similar and I just don't reach for these as often. Although they're really pretty, but um, I just not I just didn't use them last year at all. So off they go. If you don't use them, that means you don't need them. The next pair I am selling is uh, a pair from Salvatore Ferragamo. This pair is really a nice um, black pump, and I just have the stuffing in it still. Um, and they're in really good shape. Uh, I probably only wore these, um, you know, probably a handful of times. And um, you can see they are a little bit worn on the bottom. But it's very light wear. It's just um, the, the usual wear for a leather bottom shoe. Ferragamo is um, customarily really designed for a narrower fitting foot. And I got these in a five and a half. I originally, I'm a size five. I originally got them in a five. They were way too tight. And then I reordered the five and a half thinking they, these would be fine. And initially they fit okay. But as I wore them, they're just way too tight still. So I probably should have gotten a six in these and they're Italian. So normally they're, they fit a little bit smaller. And because they are narrow, and I don't have a narrow foot, um, my foot is about average on the, on the verge of being a little bit wider. So they just, they, they always were just, just that too much snug on me. So I just tended not to wear them as much. So the next pair of shoes that I want to show you are, um, they're by Vince. These are my Vince slip-ons, and you guys know that I bought a um, the wine-colored calf skin, and then I bought these black one, black leather ones. And I thought I would use them, and I did use them a little bit. You can see they're just a little bit, uh, you know, worn. Um, but I didn't use them as much as I thought I would, especially since I have my Chanel espadrilles. I just found myself using the espadrilles a lot more during the summertime. And um, so I just didn't reach for these at all. And, uh, you know, it's a shame because they are, they are a really nice shoe and very comfy. But um, I, just, I just haven't used them. So I'm just, you know... Like I said, if I don't use it, I'm going to sell it and get rid of it and uh, make some room in my closet. But these are such a nice soft leather and the inside is so um, comfy and spongy and I mean I love my other ones that are the wine colored um, but I just don't reach for these now um, because I, most times I'll wear the, the wine ones. so. Uh, unfortunately, uh, it's just a, a purchase I didn't need to make. The next pair of shoes are um, these Prada shoes. And here is the one shoe. Um, these are a gorgeous pair of red Pradas and with the peep toe and the small little platform. And as you can see, they say Prada in them. And they are just a really pretty shoe. You can see the back has the Prada sign. And they have been worn a bit, not that much. But I just, it's just a shoe that I just have not used, um, really. Uh, when I look at these, um, I've probably used them like three times since I got them. I got these in. Um, Florida about three years ago and I fell in love with them at the time they were Prada so I wore them a couple of times and then after that I just I just stopped wearing them um, so 
I just don't reach for them anymore and uh, so I've decided to let them go. I was going to just keep them in my closet and in my collection, you know, just hoping maybe that one day I'll need a pair of red shoes, <laughs> but I just, I just do not wear, um, I just don't wear them. The next pair I am selling are these Jimmy Choo's. So here are the Jimmy Choo shoes. As you can see, they're very similar to um, the Prada, but they are a beautiful nude shoe with the platform as well again. And uh, they are a little higher than the Prada. And I will put all the details in the description below if anybody um, is just has any questions about these shoes or um, if you're interested in purchasing them. Uh, I said I would give all of my um, subscribers a first opportunity and I won't be putting them up on my um, Poshmark website um, for probably two weeks. So um, I'll have them on my YouTube channel for two weeks and then I will post them out if uh, there's no takers. But these are a beautiful shoe. The, the problem with these at the time, these are a five and a half. So I made the mistake of getting these half a size too big. And uh, I should have got the five. I just thought at the time, I thought the five was just a little too snug. But without, you know, really thinking that um, eventually they would give a little bit. And so I just, these are five and a half and they just tend to slip off the back of my foot when I'm walking. And although I have put um, these grips in them, um, they still just don't fit quite right. Um, so unfortunately, um, but you guys all know that I did get another pair of Jimmy Choo's in a, in a nude color um, last summer, because these are uh, you know a couple of years old. And so I've been wearing those ones uh, more so than these, and that's why I'm selling these ones. And I need to disclose, because you always have to disclose anything that's wrong with these shoes. Um, when, when I bought these, uh, I thought, okay, well, they're a little bit big, so I'm going to put uh, this insert gripper in it. But everybody knows that these little grippers, they are always, you know, coming out or... So I made a big fatal mistake because I thought, oh, I'm going to keep these forever, uh, of putting a little bit of glue on this and putting it in there. And then when I took it out, you guys are all going to, all going to be horrified <laughs> when you see this. There's, um, there's leftover glue on uh, imprints on the back of that heel. So... Um, it just needs to be, um, you know, rubbed out, and uh, then it would be okay. But that's full disclosure. So um, these these shoes will be going at a really reduced rate, <laughs> just because of that. And last pair is none other than uh, my Christian Louboutins. So here's the shoe. You guys are all gonna think I am absolutely crazy to be selling these, but these, I went through a lot to get these, and um, I guess at the time, I wanted them really badly. I originally wanted the 100. This is the 120, and I wanted the 100 for a special occasion I was going to, but I just couldn't find the 100 in my size at the time, and so I went up to the 120. And, you know... It's always a mistake when you um, you know, compromise on, on things that you want or really have your eye on. So as much as these are gorgeous shoes, and I call them my three-hour shoes because three hours is all I can take in these. Um, I think as you get a little older, <laughs> your, back is <laughs> your back takes a lot more punishment. <laughs> and um, so they are, they've only been worn twice. They are in really good condition. Um, these actually were 
imported for me from London. <laughs> I looked all over every store here in North America. They At the time, they didn't have my size, and I found this pair in London, and they were um, nice enough to send them out for me. So these are just a gorgeous shoe. Um, I What I did was I had them uh, sold at a cobbler with the red bottom so that it would protect the red bottom but also so that it was easier to walk in. Um, these tend to be um, sort of slippery when they have the pure red sole. So there's a lot of controversy whether you should sole or not sole. Um, I chose to sole mine uh, just because it made um, walking around in them that much easier. And my other ones that are 85 uh, millimeter, they are sold as well. So, you know, in hindsight, would I do it again? Probably, yeah. Um, just because I wanted to keep them protected. And they look nice and nice and new all the time and clean. And these are a, uh, a 35. So most of my shoes are 35 or size 5 US. They are gorgeous though. They are, you know, just head turning. So those are the shoes that I am going to be, um, you know, selling or consigning. Or um, if if they they don't sell, then they will be uh, sent to um, to charity. And uh, I must say that all of the shoes um, will come in their original box, and all of them just have the one dust bag, but it's the original dust bag that they came with. Uh, I'm pretty good with you know keeping everything with it and in a lot of cases I have um, the original receipt. I normally take the receipt to the inside of the top of the box. It's just um, just so that I can keep track of what I have and if they ever do have to go back for any reason before I wear them I always have the receipt there. So that's just a tip, <laughs> my little tip. And then I always know, you know, what they cost. If I'm ever going to sell them, I can then, you know, take a look at, um, you know, usage versus original cost. So those are the shoes. And uh, this is the first in a couple of series. Uh, I guess the next one will be a fashion funeral on SLGs and accessories. So we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye everyone.